Hey guys, it's Sunny Down One Again here with a new video for you guys. And today I figured I'd do a quick little episode, take a look at some interesting import Sega Saturn puzzle games. As you guys know, I'm a pretty big puzzle game fan. It's one of my personal favorite genres, and there's something about it that it's just so relaxing to kick back and play some puzzle games, and particularly these that I'm about to show are some really interesting ones. These games obviously never saw the light of day in America, so they've remained in Japan. So what do you say we jump right into it? And the first game we're going to take a look at is one of the weirdest puzzle games I've played in quite some time. And the game is called Hesai Tensai Bakuban Susumi Bakubans by General Entertainment. Hesai Tensai Bakuban Susumi Bakuban is definitely one of the most interesting puzzle games I've played in quite some time. It's very, very bizarre. Like, it's got a weird, charming presentation to it, but in between each level, you get these little, like, short, couple minute, like, animated movies, and they range from, like, just absolutely, like, WTF to, like, you know, weird and disturbing. Like, there's all kinds of weird movies in there. It kind of gives you a sense of progress just to see. Like, I personally felt like wanting to progress just to see all the unique little animations that were going to be next in between each level. The actual gameplay is a color matching gameplay, but it doesn't work how you would think, and even for like a typical puzzle game. Like, it has a really weird, unique mechanic that I've never seen used in any other puzzle game. Judging by the gameplay, you would assume, oh, it's like simple color matching, right? You know, match two, match three, something like that. No, and it took me a while to figure it out, but it actually uses a sandwich mechanic. I call it a sandwich mechanic because to make these little spheres disappear, you have to line up two of similar, two or more of a similar color with two similar colors in between them. And you can do that diagonally, vertically, horizontally. And it took me a while to figure it out. And as a result, it's like very interesting to play because it's so different from other puzzle games because it's such a unique mechanic that I've never seen used anywhere else and it takes a while to get used to it but once you do it's really interesting you can do some pretty awesome combos the presentation is great the music is actually really catchy it's just super charming with this presentation it's got so much bizarre humor in there and like even some weird pause screens with this little like squirrel tadpole character that i'm assuming is from the anime so yeah i mean if you're <laughs> if you're a fan of the series it's definitely worth check it out i guess and if you're a fan of puzzle games, I would say it's definitely worth checking out because it takes the cake for one of the most bizarre puzzle games I've played in quite some time. It definitely takes the cake. <laughs> and the next game we're going to take a look at is Hanagumi Tyson Columns by Sega. Hanagumi Tyson Columns, or better known as Sakura Wars Columns, is exactly what it sounds like. It's essentially columns at its core, so if you've played Columns before, it's been... It's a popular puzzle game that's been adapted to various consoles. There's a popular Genesis port of it too, but... It's a puzzle game based around these having these jewels, and you try and match up three or more of the same colored jewels that are horizontally or vertically to get rid of them. But this is also has a Sakura Wars, you know, skin makeover to it. So if you don't know what Sakura Wars is, it's actually a really popular series of tactical role-playing dating sim visual novel games in Japan. And they're actually really popular. They date back quite a ways. But Sakura Wars, at least in the state side, has only seen one localized release here, and that was by NIS America, which they released a Wii and PS2 game, Sakura Wars So Long My Love, which is stays true to mechanics and I recommend that game, it's a pretty fun tactical role playing game that's very different. But anyways back to this actual game, you have a wide range of modes, you have like a typical kind of arcade mode where you challenge some of, some of the other you know characters in the game and you also have a story mode which actually kind of plays like Sakura Wars 
which Secure Wars is kind of known for this mechanic where you have dialogue options, but they're really they're timed, so like you have to choose really quickly and really like on the spot. So there's no like waiting and trying to decide what to do. And it also has a typical endless mode, which is just like hop in and play for as long as possible. But an interesting mechanic in here is it has like these, this meter mechanic where as you get rid of these blocks, you'll build up a meter and like once you build up a full meter, you'll have a, three options to choose from. So that it's either an offensive maneuver, which will send these dice kind of dice blocks onto your opponent's side. And those won't like become available until like that many turns passes. So say there's a box with five on it, those won't become available until you make like five moves. So that's an offensive maneuver where if you choose that, and you can also power it up by saving your meter. But if you choose that, it'll send a bunch of blocks to your opponent's screen. There's also a defensive maneuver which will, if you're in a tight jam, you can get rid of a certain a row of blocks on your side of the screen. So that adds a really interesting mechanic which kind of makes it strategic on whether to spin your meter or save it and just waiting for the right time about it. And it's really fun. Like It, it has a great color scheme to it. It's super colorful with all the Secure Wars portraits. And actually based off which character you choose, your offensive maneuvers are different. So it varies. Not everyone does the same thing for an offensive maneuver. So that's really interesting in that regards. But I recommend it. It's a super colorful adaptation of Columns with some great music, and it's, I love the Secure Wars theme to it, so definitely recommend Secure Wars Columns. And the final game we're going to take a look at is Tokimiki Memorial Tyson Puzzle Dama by Konami. <laughs> Tokimiki Memorial Tyson Puzzle Dudama is similar in regards to Columns where it's actually a skin of a puzzle game that's already been established. There's some Puzzle Dudama games already in Japan and they, it's kind of like a popular puzzle series that they like to apply certain skins to it of other popular series. So this one on the Saturn is based off the Tokimiki Memorial dating games which are a popular line of dating games in Japan which we obviously never saw released here. Uh, and they were on a wide range of consoles, but uh, this is essentially a, almost very comparable to Puyo Puyo and its mechanics. If you ever played Puyo Puyo, you have these little orbs and you try and connect at least three or more of the similar color, either horizontally, vertically, you can do it all kinds of ways. As long as three are connected in a similar color, it'll get rid of them. So it's really, really fun. Like I, I love Puyo Puyo because I love how fast paced it is and this game feels very fast paced. You also have this mechanic where there's this like heart shape kind of like orbs and they're not fully you can't use them until you at least you know triggers a combo or trigger like a trigger some other orbs on it or nearby and it will, it will develop those into like full orbs so you can use and that kind of adds an interesting mechanic because it, as time goes on you can pull off some pretty awesome combos in this game it feels super fast paced but it, you can pull some really awesome combos in this game, some pretty big combos. I love it. It's, the game has a really super colorful scheme going on for it. Obviously, based off of the dating game, it's super colorful. The character portraits are great. It has a variety of different modes, obviously, like your typical and standard arcade mode. I believe there's a story mode in there, too, which uh, doesn't make any sense to me because it's all in Japanese. And there's your typical kind of endless mode, but it's super awesome. It's, because as you're going back and forth, you know, you, the girls are making like different facial expressions and all that based off what you do. And it's pretty super, super colorful puzzle game. If you like colorful puzzle games, it, particularly if you're a fan of Puyo Puyo, it's very similar. I would say this is probably my personal favorite of the three just because it feels super fun to play. It's super, super fast paced and quick and I like that. So definitely if you're a fan of some colorful puzzle games, definitely check out Toki Miki Memorial Tyson Puzzle Dama. So we come to the end of the video guys, I would like to thank you guys for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed this quick little look at some very fun and interesting import Sega Saturn puzzle games. All these games never saw the light of day outside of Japan. And part of the reason why I really enjoy collecting for the Sega Saturn imports in particular because there's so many interesting games out there that just never saw the light of day outside of Japan. So 
I'm definitely really enjoying collecting for the Sega Saturn, particularly import-wise. And I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little episode. I'll be going on vacation for a little bit, but I wanted to crank out a video for you guys before I left. So thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.